all right. All right, all right, all right. Way up in there. All right, this big 30 acre hay field here. We're, um, Southern States is coming in tomorrow, do the fertilizing on it, along with some, uh, some, uh, some crop fields. My uncle is spraying right now. My other uncle is, is, uh, spreading some pasture fertilizer. So it's go time here. Um, I'm right now getting a soil sample on this for, um, well, I don't really know why. Uh, my uncle just told me to come do it. So that's what I'm doing. Now I gotta find something to clean this hole out here. Uh, let me get right back. All right, like I was saying, um, this is our biggest hay field. Um, and they're supposed to come in and spread the fertilizer on it tomorrow, April 11th. Today is the 10th. And it's kind of a little bit, it's kind of, well, it's the season, but then again, it's a little later than what we usually do fertilize a little bit. Um, Usually end of March, 1st of April, we're putting hay and pasture fertilizer on. Mmm. I don't want to have both hands to do this. So, um, anyway, we're putting... We, uh... But anyway, we, uh... It is uh, starting to be go time here. Like I said, one uncle is spreading pasture fertilizer. The other one is spreading or is spraying crop corn ground. So it because uh, they are going to come in and do a couple of the grain cornfields tomorrow too. I think. I don't have anything to clean this tube out, so I just gotta use my fingers. Which is kind of bad, but oh well. But, um. But yeah. Um, as you can see, this, uh. This is probably the one of the best hay fields that's ever produced hay. Um. As you can tell right now, it is thick, or well, it's thick just from coming out of winter dormant. Um, fescue is really looking good on it. There's a lot of clover in there. That's what I'm looking at, which is good. And um, yeah, this will make real good. Hopefully we can get three cuttings off of this. If we do, that'll be fantastic fantastic but yeah i mean this is one of the flattest fields we have you can see almost all the way over to that pond and um it looks good it's looking real good and once this fertilizer gets on uh it'll and these warm days coming up it'll really start to take off so anyway um i'm gonna get this done here tonight uh and then head back to the house and my uncle hooked to the planter, 44 up to the planter, it's sitting out, and we'll get going. All right, so, a week ago today, I pulled that soil sample off of that uh, hay field, and the results came in, I've got them right here. Uh, the results actually came in, was either Friday, Friday or uh, Saturday. Uh, it was through southern states is what we did it through because that's who fertilized that so I figured to have a little educational experience in this video uh, To show you what this is actually showing now the guy that owns the actual ground 
was worried about the lime on it. Um, he, he was worried about putting lime on it, um, so we pulled a sample on it, and um, it does not need soil. It does not need lime. As you'll be able to see. All right. So soil analysis um, received April thirteenth. Processed the seventeenth, which I don't understand that because the seventeenth was yesterday when I got this Saturday the 14th no fit 15th anyway all right so looking through here the soil pH is 6.3 buffer pH 7.7 .7, so the 6.3 range that is that is pretty much perfect you want to be between six and seven on pH level so that's that's where we need to be so it does not need lime uh, so yeah okay now before you see this this was before they fertilized this this was the day before they fertilized the field so hence why the uh, phosphor phosphorus and potassium levels are low um, that has soon been corrected <laughs> um, that was the fertilize so those are low but that's been fixed um, well your phosphate and potash levels is what it really is uh, manganese is good calcium is high which I don't I guess that could be some of the line now these micronutrients sulfur boron and zinc since this is not alfalfa hay, this is just straight grass mix hay is all it is. Um, we're not worried about the micronutrients. Uh, now, if we had alfalfa or a legume style crop on there, you want to pay attention to those micronutrients. Um, but since this is uh, um, but since this is uh, just straight grass mix hay with a little little bit of clover in it uh it's we're not worried about it just it's just it's just that um but other than that uh everything looks good on it um what uh boss said there I've, we've been working through him getting fertilized and soil tests and everything and he said everything on it looks good and should be ready to roll uh this summer so uh, all the hay ground has been fertilized, uh, pasture ground has been fertilized, all the corn ground has been sprayed and fertilized. Um, we were thinking about starting planting corn there Saturday evening, but then we saw where it's supposed to rain for the next week, week and a half at that point. So, which is a good thing because we got like, we got two goose drowner rain pours there Sunday evening and yesterday. Uh, I don't know if it did that here or not. It did at work, which is like 10 miles from here. It poured at work, and then here, uh, they said it didn't really do much. But anyway, so, um, 44 is hooked to the planter. I see I had to go mow a yard. Uh, came back, saw the tractor and planters hooked up. Um, I think it's ready to roll me and my uncle. He was replacing some seals on it. Uh, he had the, the lift linkage for the pull arms unbolted and he had that shaft out underneath and he's replacing some seals on it uh, and then I took the PTO housing off and pulled the uh, the mechanism out of there and then he put like I think it was a new seal in it new seal in it um, just to just to, allevi to alleviate some of these leaks on it and I put it back and I put it back in and called it good uh, and then drove the hell out of it from up there at the grain bins and back That's what he told me to do drive, give her hell just drive it hell so anyway so hopefully when it dries out we'll be going on some uh, corn planting but other than that just stay tuned thanks for watching please comment read, and subscribe hope you learned a little something from that um, Hope you did. If you didn't, oh well, I don't. My video, so. Anyway.